spoken a bit too soon. Maybe so. They've been doing really, really well here on this eco. And not only have they taken out three Dignitas players, they've also been able to pick up rifles. Olaf Meister's in a spot of bother, though. He's knocked down a 10 HP. He tries to jump over the top. And if he'd have picked up that headshot there, that would have been crazy. And he does indeed, as Device picks out just at the wrong time. AT does respond, but it's a one on one situation. And Fnatic, not out of this round quite yet. He may be able to get the bomb down here. Flush is going to peek it, though. And if he just gets the bomb down. It could leave him in a really good spot, and of course that would once again boost the economy. So even if Fnatic lose this round, it would have been good. It doesn't matter. Great decision from him, proving why he's the pro player and I'm not. He gets the kill, and he gets the bomb plant afterwards. And what should have been all even 3-3, three, three, it's actually going to be Fnatic taking the lead 4-2. So if you've got your skins on Fnatic, and if they keep performing like that, it's going to lead to some very, very good uh, stuff for you guys, I'm sure. Well, it was another one of those situations where, ironically, they managed to lose the rounds where they have big weapons, and then out of the blue, they managed to uh, win a pistol round, win a yeah. eco round. So, as long as Fnatic keep winning rounds, they won't have to worry about playing their pistol rounds. But, who knows? It, and that's one of the things about CSGO. In older iterations of the game, you never really used to see the, the eco rounds as effective. They were never utilized as well, even with the Desert Eagle. But uh, it does look like it's going to be the Fnatic leader in Pronax to pop Flash, Crimson, Olaf in towards Long. They're going to run two versus one in towards Fetish. If we can just go over to Fetish, he has that FAMAS. He's uh, being blinded, but look who it is. Device comes around the corner. Fetish will be calling. He'll definitely be hearing Crimson's footsteps. And Fetish won't miss from there. And this is the thing, Chewy. Fnatic, uh, they managed to win their eco round. But now that they got weapons, for some reason they slowed it down. They just didn't look as confident. And they're now going to gift Dignitas yet another round. And it is a T-sided map, so Fnatic can't afford to gift too many um, of these rounds to Team Dignitas. Let's bear in mind that Team Dignitas are a CT biased team. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They, they've got to be careful with what they're doing. It is interesting, as you did point out, how they pick up pistol rounds with their aggressive play and then suddenly aren't able to pick up uh, simple, well, not simple rounds, but full buy rounds like that. So that is, of course, going to punish them and they are going to be forced back onto pistols again, maybe. Or actually, are they going to buy it? Let's have a look at the money. They have got money, but uh, it's not going to look really too pretty for them if they, uh, if they don't win this one. And by the looks of things, Pronax is just going to uh, be saving up and not going to be able to get anything more than a P250. So so still, uh, we'll see what Fnatic can do. If Dignitas start to get some more rounds on the board and start to get that ball rolling, the momentum going higher, then of course that will be very good for them on the CT side here of Dust2. But into round number 8 we go. This thing stand, there have been no kills as of yet, no casualties. We did just see, I think that was AZ knocked down to 88 HP, but nothing quite coming in as of yet. Bomb is stacked up over actually in mid, so it looks like this could be a mid push. They could obviously stack up on Catwalk and make their way up to there. But the CT's holding strong not moving anywhere yet and I don't think they've really had too much information about where that bomb could be heading. So here we go, Pronax is going to be the man who uh, is going to you know try and save a bit of cash, he couldn't exactly afford an AK-47 so he's just gone for the P250 whilst uh, the rest of his teammates have bought up and they're going to be playing with the AK-47 so as far as the Dignitas setup is concerned we've got Fetish playing really aggressive at long of course Fetish is the uh, Dignitas leader Device and Zipnix the two men slap bang on top of the A bomb site and AZ playing uh, the B ramp area but they are going to push him through Pre is going to come out he's spraying he's got one more to deal with out comes the USP and Dupree I was going to say he was on fire, but dropped by JW, and here come the rotating CTs in fetish and device. Flusher finds himself two versus one, and he is going to plant the bomb with only 10 seconds to go, Chewy. He will do indeed. One versus two situation for Flusher. He's going to be able to pick up the first. That's finished down. No, he doesn't pick up the second device. Manages to pick him up. Just at the end there, that was very close. I thought Flusher was easily going to be able to get that one versus two clutch, but Dignitas just about holding strong, and they will get the defuse, and Device picks up that AWP for his hard trouble. So, it's going to be moving into round at number nine, and Dignitas managing to get another man on the board here, so the scores are even 4-4, four, four, and Fnatic from losing that round, they still have enough money to force up, but again, they're not going to bother. They're just going to get those trusty CZ75s and a couple of grenades into the mix as well. And of course, the last time we saw them do this, they were actually able to win the round. So don't put it past them just because they're on an eco. They can't win this one. 
And we'll see where they're going to stack up and where they're going to go. Flash is going over towards Long, so it looks like it could be Rush coming out towards there. They're going to be met by a grenade, though. And Zitnix is going to take the first. Zitnix takes the second as well, and that's already going to shut that push down. Grenade's going down over towards Catwalk, but it doesn't matter. The T's are going to push in anyway. Device gets the kill and is only left on 17 HP. It's all going to be left up to JW. And Pronax there finished off in quick style. And as soon as that round started, it ended. 5-4 is your score, and Dignitas take the lead for the first time in this match here on Dust2. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, peasy lemon squeezy. I thought it was a little too cheesy at the weekend, but I don't care. I love, <laughs> I love a good bit of easy peasy lemon squeezy. Come on, let's get a smaller uh, easy peasy lemon uh, squeezy. Uh, spam in the chat. But here we go, Fnatic. They've only got four so far, and we've, we are seeing a lot of these pre-nades coming in from Team Dignitas. Um, they know exactly what they're doing. Like I said, they are a CT bias side. Uh, it always seems that whenever Team Dignitas are playing, they're literally like a, like Mount Everest put in front of you on the T side whenever you try and break them down. And the thing is, they're always trying to change it around. They're now playing both AZ and Dupree close to double doors. Dupree close to the second, not going to get it. JW pulls the trigger, gets the kill. And Fnatic finally have their feet in front. They finally have a one-man advantage. And let's see whether that's going to stay. It's not. Zipnix gets one. A headshot to be exact. And uh, Chewy, Olaf and JW are both bleeding internally. That was a really huge kill there um, by uh, Zipnix actually on the B-bomb side because Flusher had pushed out just to make sure that everything was clear and he got put, you know, taken down in quick fashion. But if he had cleared out that B-bomb site, that would have given Fnatic such a huge opportunity to get the bomb down there on B. And those last two players left alive, um, which would have been Device and Fetish, would have had to try and make their way uh, and rotate over onto the B-bomb site and get a defuse. But because Zipnix picked up that huge kill there, it forced Fnatic to have to rotate onto this A-bomb site and they're just being destroyed off it. Crimson going to be the last one left alive. He has been able to get the bomb down as soon as Autodirector decides to have an absolute nightmare. There we go. That should be sorted out now. But Fetish and Zipnix going up against the former LGB player. Grenade comes in. Knocked down to 48 HP is Zipnix, but he's just too strong for that. He's going to get the defuse as well. If you can find the bomb, there we go. And 5, uh, sorry, 6-4 is going to be your score. And Team Dignitas, they're looking really, really strong here. Yep, they are. As always, they always look rock solid on the uh, CT side. Um, Fnatic though, they can still afford to buy, the T side is a slight bit cheaper as opposed to uh, the M4 counterparts of, um, which uh, CTs have. Um, so here we go. I mean, you, you didn't give me an exact prediction, did you? I asked you for a prediction no. and then you swayed off because you didn't want to give me I a prediction. I like doing that because you I'm like always bad with predictions. But go My on, honestly, give me, right. a, give me a serious prediction. Well, I mean, it, we're halfway through the game now, so, so uh, you know... It like, doesn't matter. Give me a prediction. The, I demand you to give me a prediction. I mean, if Fnatic had been able to convert after that eco win, I probably would have said them, even though they are on the more favoured side here. You know, I really would have said that they could have taken that if they can win eco rounds like that. But the fact that they've then kind of struggled since, and Zipnix is just performing up to his usual crazy standards. I mean, he's 12 and 5 right now. He's not going to completely carry the team, but if Zipnix keeps up this kind of performance, then uh, you know I, I think that Dignitas are going to be able to take this one. But this is fanatic we're talking about here. It's no you know light feat. They, they can easily come back into this game at any point. Yes, they can, and it's going to be the fanatic leader in Pronax to rally the troops towards this A bomb site. Knows that uh, Fetish was at long, thanks to that FAMAS. And we do have Dupree, who's going to be trying to rotate from CT. And I hope he plays it cool, calm and collected and waits. AZ's going to try and come from behind, but Fnatic like a hot knife through butter, tearing the Danes apart. And Fetish, he's, he's just run away, Chewie. He wants to save that M4. And again, I can't blame him. No, I cannot blame him whatsoever. So... Bomb's easily going to blow up in any few seconds now. And Fnatic holding strong on that A bomb site, which is good for them. And I mean, I'm pretty sure they've been able to plant the bomb uh, on most rounds so far. It's been very rare that they haven't, but Dignitas are just holding strong on it and being able to retake pretty well. So, of course, that's going to help the Fnatic economy. As Fetish does actually manage to pick up Crims there, none of the other players are deciding to challenge that. So, he will be able to keep that rifle in hand. But yeah, um, Chewie, about that prediction. Yeah. That you keep well, avoiding. Give me a score. A or give score. me a winner at least. Hmm. Come on, man up. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sixteen thirteen dignitas.
Well, fair enough. I mean, I said 16.12 to someone. I think it was Two-Face uh, on yeah. Skype just before it went live. Or maybe I said it to people in chat. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think the score will be. Do pray it's going to be the man orping this time round. And again, this is the thing about Team Dignitas. Always changing it up. We saw Device orping earlier on. Now Dupree decided to take the orp towards B, where Dupree had the orp at long. So they're always continuously keeping their opponents guessing. Um, but here we go. Smokes on short. Device is going to be the CT who's going to have his eyes on short. Fetish and Zipniks this time round. Double stacking long. You know, it's almost as if Team Dignitas keep alternating. Sometimes they put two at long. Sometimes they put two on short. Sometimes they put two in the B bomb site and someone close by to double doors or in CT spawn. Again, always keeping Fnatic guessing. And uh, that's that's also attributed to the fact that Fnatic are playing so slow. They know that every mm. round they need to try and scout out how their opponents are playing and then try to anti-approach uh, anti it. Crims here though, over towards Long, he's putting his crosshairs down onto a player which was actually going to be Fetish and that's the man on your screen so these two are about to meet up. Crims does win that battle though so he's going to be able to get that A Long area starting to get a bit clearer. Flusher picks up Zipnix there to take him out and this is looking once again very good for Fnatic although they did take it very very slow. There's 13 seconds left on the clock although the bomb has been planted and they have found that final player with the orb which will be Dupree. He's just going to try and get a couple of frags. It's not going to work though. Yes, nobody was exiting that bomb site anytime soon. Olaf Meister was confident he was going to get the kill, and that's exactly what he did here. And this is exactly what I said that as soon as you know, I called out that uh, Dignitas were having a really strong half and that Zipnix was performing well. Fnatic have taken a couple of rounds on the try here, I think two actually, and they forced Dignitas onto a slight bit of an eco. Dupree uh, only with a pistol. Actually, he has got a Famas there, but he's not got any head armor. And we've got three Famases in play, and we know what happens when those Famases and the Galils start to come out. You know that a team's starting to struggle a bit for economy. And it's co it's economy? I can't economy. even talk economy. There we go. The JW, after taking a lot of damage, he's only down to 31 HP, but he picks up two huge kills on the CT there. The device has rotated. Device with the double spray down. It's now three on three, and in the blink of an eye, Device turns it back for the Danes, and they've got nothing to lose here, do the Danes. They know that Dupri... Dupri... See, we both can't <laughs> speak. Dupree is stuck on this A bomb site. He only has a FAMAS, but he is going to try and face him. AZ is going to come in. Great flash from him. Flashing the Terrace should get this kill. He does, leaving Olaf Meister with it all to do, with the weight of the world on his shoulders. It's one versus two. He drops AZ, and now it's AK versus AWP, and Device has swapped that AK, that AWP, sorry, for the M4. He's more versatile now, and he's got his Karambit out, he's got his running shoes on, and he's rotating all the way back round towards mid, and what a choice from him. Yeah, indeed, and he has actually spotted that play there, lots of shots go down, and Olaf Meister knocked down a 26 HP, looks like he's going to try and get that bomb down towards B, no he's not, he decided to go and challenge, wasn't the best decision as Device finishes him off, picks up the AK-47 for his hard work, and that's going to mean the score now is 7-6 in favour of the CT side from Denmark, and again, so much, so, like thousands more people have joined the chat since we explained it earlier, everybody's wondering why Dignitas have a British flag, it is because their owner and the organisation themselves hail from the UK, um, so that's what it is. We all know that they are a Danish team. They just decided for some reason to have the uh, the British flag. But here we go. Round number 14. It is only two left in this half. And Fetish, even though Flusher peaked out quite early there, he didn't go down. And Fetish holding strong with that FAMAS over towards A Long. So once again, man advantage in favour of CTs here. And Fnatic need to try and get as many rounds on the board here. You know, being on that more favoured T side in a lot of people's opinions, you want to try and get. Uh, more rounds in the CTs, obviously, that would kind of make a lot of sense. But Dignitas look like they could potentially be heading into the second half uh, with a higher score than the Fnatic here. We'll have to see. Yeah, and the yeah. penis is real in chat, isn't it? I know, right? But it's yeah. not going to be for long. It's not with a cup of tea, but, you know... Luckily, the mods to have decided to wake up and actually it. be cool and start to do something about <laughs> it. So thank you, mods, for that. Oh, Olaf with the double, pushing straight into the B-bomb site. And now Zip, Nix and Co have it all to do. They're in this B-bomb site. Crims is going to be the man to sort of flank. He's going to hold tunnels and well he doesn't miss from that distance and at three versus two I can only see one winner Chewy. But oh no! JW unlike him misses that shot. Fetish of Dignitas lead is going to come in. I think I jinxed it and now Olaf is absolutely surrounded but oh my word Olaf two versus one. He's being chased down by Zipnix and 
Deary me, I think I think I need to go and get my uh, blood pressure tested out after that. JW shouldn't have missed that shot. And Chewy, it goes to show that one little mistake can make such a big difference when it when the round is in you know is in such a tight situation like three yeah. versus two defending um, three versus three sorry defending the bomb down on that B bomb site. And have a look at what it's done now to the Fnatic economy. They're not looking good here. That was such a that was definitely the most important round that we've seen so far. You can't really emphasize it enough there. That should have been Fnatic's round. It should have been all even at seven seven here, and then Fnatic would have hopefully you know converted that and gone up uh, at the lead with an eight seven scoreline at the halfway mark. But that's simply not the case. And now Dignitas looking very strong indeed. And if they can finish this one out in style, of course Fnatic being on an eco, they should well a half eco so to speak. Um, they should take it 9-6. So, let's have a look and see what they can do. JW and Flusher have got CZ75. Once again, Auto Director is having a nightmare because it loves when it's able to do that. Device knocked down a 22 HP with an AWP in hand. And he's going to be the man on your screen. And he's going to meet up with anybody any second. Knocked down to 3 single HP. Going to try and get some shots down through those double doors in mid. But it's not going to work. And uh, it's still not over quite yet here for Fnatic. It's still a 4-on-4 four four situation as things stand. And they have been able to pick up another rifle here. And Crim's picking up that kill on device in mid there. It's going to really open the door for them. So let's see what Fetish does here as he rotates back th towards CT spawn. And who's going to find? But Fnatic are in a tiny spot of bother. They're not quite sure where to go at the minute. It looks like they're going to be heading their way towards B any second. And AZ, the man on the screen, could be the first line of defense over here. Yep, he's playing at the back of the bomb site. Fetish... Has traded that FAMAS. He's had a bit of damage dealt onto him. It's left him on 23 points of health to be exact. And he knows he doesn't want to peak flusher, but he's dinked him in return. And now AZ with it all to do. The flash comes out. Brilliant flash. He's blinded the Fnatic players, but not enough. He gets the double onto the Fnatic players in tunnels. But Zipnix, he's in a two versus one. Nine seconds on the clock and Chewy. Do you think he can do it? He might well, be yeah. able to. Oh, after that first kill, he's done, standing himself in good stead. And I'm wondering if he should have tried to get into that bomb side a bit earlier, considering the fact that Fnatic needed to get that bomb down within about five seconds. And if he had a maybe challenged a bit earlier, potentially, they would have taken their eyes away from it. But it doesn't matter. Crims is going to be able to pick up the kill. And that's going to be the first half over. And somebody in the chat actually predicted that it was going to be a um, an 8-7 finish at the halftime mark. Unfortunately, because yeah, ESEA has a nightmare, yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cut us out of the game so we'll make sure that we can get back in there as soon as possible and we can carry on with the second half here but 8-7 is going to be your score at the half time mark and I called Dignitas to take it 8-7 we know that they are a CT favoured team so they are going to have to put up a big good performance here on the T side but I still think that they can do it alright so in my opinion uh, on a T sided map like this I mean you see, the thing about DDoS 2, in reality, it is a 50-50 sided map, but historically it has been a T-sided map. And uh, yeah. uh, the reason a lot of people view it as a terrorist sided map is because it's so easy to flash areas like B-Ramp. It's so easy to flash areas like Long. It's so easy to flash yourself into places to get closer and closer to the bomb site, unlike maps such as uh, Nuke, uh, for obvious reasons. But anyways, here we go. Zipnix is all eyes on that beautiful wall. He's... Uh, He's, he's put Fronax on 34 points of health, and that nade landed right on the Swedish leader, but only dealt three points of damage to him. And nade, nades in CSGO really baffle me. They really do. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day, actually, when we were casting here. I think it was last week where there was a guy uh, we were on A long somewhere, I think, actually, just to the cars here, and he ate four grenades to the face. And it was only after that that a Molotov came in and eventually finished him off. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty crazy. But Dignitas here, they're looking good. They've been able to get onto that A-bomb site relatively unchallenged. So Fnatic are going to have to try and retake this. And we've got no casualties as of yet here in the 16th round. Pronax on 31 HP and finished down to 40 as well, but still no frags as of yet. That bomb's been planted. In comes the take from JW. Lovely wow. stuff. He's going to get three. Oh, my gosh. JW going huge. Device is eventually going to finish him up, and he also gets Flusher for his hard troubles as well. Oh, oh. the Pronax and wow. Device with a jump shot on the Glock. Team Dignitas just had one of the craziest pistol rounds there. I thought JW was going to save the day and just single-handedly take over that A-bomb site, but still they can't get through Dignitas. Wow. Yeah, you remember, remember when I said I was, um, I'm casting in my pants? Yeah, I don't yeah, want to know I'm going to be right back because um, I think I may have just jizzed. But anyways, Device 
<laughs> with the AK-47, and uh, only Fetish is going to be the man to not buy a rifle. He's opted to go for a few more grenades by the looks of things. He's got a USP, which he picked up from the last round, and uh, maybe he wants to be the man to, you know, not buy Galil, not instigate um, the buy. He wants to save a bit of money so that Team Dignitas can go for the early AWP buy. Um, but here we go, a full CZ-75 setup from Fnatic. Strangely enough, they are quite spread out. But it does look like we're going to have a mid to be push from Dignitas. Olaf gets one, runs out of bullets, and Dupree comes in to get the return frag. And who's your money on for this round, Chewy? Well, I still think Dignitas are going to take it. I mean, obviously, we saw a Fnatic with that eco win earlier on with CZ 75s, and so you, you wouldn't put it past them, but still, it's looking good here for uh, the guys from. Denmark, although with that being said, it's one for one frags at the second. Eventually, Device puts the man advantage in favour of the Danish squad. Pronax is going to get dropped as well there from Zipnix and his Galil, and it's all going to be left in the hands of JW. He's going to find one though, so that's easy down, and that's going to make his job very slightly easier, but he's still got a two versus one retake and a bomb defuse to happen. He's picked up an AK 47, and I think he's making the right decision here. He knows that that was going to be a difficult situation. He knows that he's only on 46 HP, so he's doing the right thing, backing away. And he's going to save that AK-47. He could meet up with Device on his second, and he is. And Device has actually spotted him. I'm not sure if they were going to be quite accepting that. They're going to try to run away from each other. But this is just playing, as we say in England, ring around the rosy with these two at the second. Roses, a pocket full of poses. Yeah. A tissue. A tissue. JW falls down. JW falls down. I like that. We need to there we go, we've that. made a new rhyme JW for the falls down. Community. Obviously I think three quarters of the people tuning in will have no idea what on earth we're on about. No, they will have no and, idea. And, and I'm preparing myself singing. mentally for the abuse we're going to get in chat, but uh, I'm sure... It's people... an English nursery rhyme, so yeah. you've learned something new, chat. Yeah. Um, anyways, easy. So, hoo -hoo, already, not a bad way to introduce himself into this round. I can't tell, it's Flusher who's going to be trying to hold this V-bomb site all by himself. But too many bullets coming towards him. Fetish with the Glock kill. And well, Pronax has it all to do. I think he's just going to pick up this AWP, yep, and run away. And right decision in the end. Yeah, definitely the right decision. And we said about how uh, Dignitas were a CT favoured team. And of course, they have been able to pick up... Uh, you know the pistol rounds here for Fnatic, so not really too much of a uh, of a difficult task for them to do, obviously, with having those more heavy uh, rifles in hand. But at the same time, um, it's going to be interesting to see how they perform from now on. And Pronax is actually going to finish off Dupree there for the round, but it's still a two versus one situation. AZ shuts him down, and Team Dignitas with a four round lead here going into the next round, which I believe will be round number nineteen, if my maths is correct. Uh, is correct. Yes, it is. Yeah. Because just about. Years. I was really bad at math in school. I only got a C in my exam. So if ever I get something mathematically wrong, it's not my fault. It's my teacher's fault. Rob says advantages of being British. You get most of Kayan's <laughs> uh, Yeah. Anyways, I, I didn't see as much uh, abuse as I thought we'd get. Oh, that nade from Zipnix landed. That was brilliant. He, he naded from, from outside of Long straight onto the corner. And it left Pronax on only 67 points of health. And that's the first time I see that nade. Did you catch it? I didn't actually. I didn't catch it. I was but too Pronax busy. Pronax definitely caught it. I'll well, I'm going to have to look back and see. Yeah, he did. Down to 67 HP for him. And that's the man on your screen going to flash out towards Long and see if he can peek. He may have peeked a little too early. Just picked up that kill onto Zipnix. But he has been knocked down to 6 HP. So, the man advantage in favour of the Swedes here. And because they've got those all important rifles in hand now, this is such an important round for them to take. If they can take this 19th round here, and if they can make that score 11 8, that's just going to make things a tiny bit easier for them. And they may still be in with a fighting chance here. Of course, if Dignitas get that bomb down and pick up some big frags and take the round, that's going to make it even more difficult for them. And they're going to have to do something pretty damn quickly. JW does miss his AWP shot, but does manage to pick up the pistol kill there onto AZ. And it's all going to be left up in the hands here of Device and Dupree. Device does get one. It's a 4 and 2 situation as things stand. And Device, with only 13 HP, is going to get finished off in style there by Olaf Meister. 11 8 is your score. And only one casualty actually going down there for Fnatic, which was Crims. So they're not out quite yet here. Dignitas has still got some work to do before they finish off this game on Dust 2. Yep, a little bit more work to do. Um. 11-8 is how it stands at the moment, as it uh, says at the top of your screens. And Team Dignitas, they do find themselves on an eco round. It looks like they're all going to head over to the B-bomb site, where 
they'll without a doubt be greeted by both Flusher and Crims. The nades are real. Down goes Zipnik's blown to smithereens. And what can the M4s do up against the CZs here in this B bomb site? It's going to be Flusher to uh, try and get it. Is GoTV really laggy for you all of a sudden? It's just gone yeah, absolutely it's, crazy. It's ruined it completely. No idea what's up with it. All I can see is that five Dignitas players are dead, and I'm worried that we may have just seen a sick anti-eco spray down or something come in. Yeah, um, well, I only saw the first kill actually come up on the kill feed, and then everything else yeah, just died from Yeah, I think we need then. to try and retry or something. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try and disconnect and see what we can do and see if we can get back into the game. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Hopefully it won't be too much of an issue and hopefully it'll sort out quickly. So we'll try and get in, but uh, still, it was an anti-eco and uh, Fnatic only two rounds away from uh, evening up the scoreboard here. So it still could go either way. You know, if you've placed your skins high on either of these teams, I'd still be biting my fingernails because you never quite know what's going to happen. Yeah, just to clarify to people, the lag isn't from our end. It is from... Yes, he is, and... Okay, so I can't get into the server. I think you're stuck in the same place as I am. I'm just retrieving game data and stuck on that at the yeah, minute. No, so I've, I've managed to, I've you're managed in? to join. Ah, the there we go. Yeah, now I'm in as well. As soon as I say that, but nothing's happening. It's still stuck at where it was before. So ESEA has just destroyed everything. ESA has ruined life. Yes, yeah, they yeah. always tend to do. <laughs> First, they make us reconnect after half time. But anyway, no. I'll tell you what. Since we've not really uh, got much going on at the moment, I'll sneak a, a little, uh, a little thingamajig in, guys. Um, the awesome guys at NoScopeGlasses.com uh, have given us a pair of their lovely yellow gaming glasses to give away to you guys. Um, not 100% sure when. Uh, the final giveaway date is going to be. I haven't decided on it yet. I've been really busy. Um, but if you want a chance to win, all you have to do is follow this channel. So if you're watching, just you know, follow the channel, click the follow button. It only takes a few, um, a few minutes. Uh, well, it doesn't even take a few minutes. It takes literally a few seconds, a millisecond, if uh, if you're good with a mouse, which I expect most of you guys watching will be, since you're Counter Strike players. Um, but yeah, you want to look cool like Fifth Laren does at your next LAN event. You want to look. You know, like you mean business. Like, um, uh, who else wears the wears gaming glasses? Like, Fifth does, doesn't it? Yeah, I said Fifth Laren, but uh, sorry, I yeah, wasn't listening. Yeah, you know, say Fifth Laren again. Why not Fifth Laren? Everyone loves a good bit of Fifth Laren. But um, yeah, you want a chance to uh, to uh, to win them? I haven't decided on the date just yet, but um, hopefully I'll uh, announce it on Twitter sometime soon. And talking about Twitter, Chewy has Twitter. Why don't you go and follow him on Twitter? What's your Twitter, Chewy? My Twitter is at it's chewy, so that's I T S C H E W W Y. I'll put it in the chat now, so everybody can do that. So yes, come and say hello. Uh, it's always great to have some feedback on there because it's really easy for like me to reply on Twitter. So come and say hello um, and come and have a chat and let us know if there's anything you want on the stream, anything you want fixing. Me and Kai and I always take feedback really, really, uh, you know, to heart, and we always try and make sure that we get things done that people want done. Um, so you know, we've already had some good feedback today that I've been uh, I've been seeing on Twitter so come and say hello and come and let us know what you would like to help us make our channel even better because we're definitely having good fun bringing you some good content here yeah and Nightbot should now be joining the channel so spammers prepare yourselves Nightbot has arrived there we go Don't it. that's, that's the thing I hate about Nightbot it, it always leaves by itself when when the chat's been dead for a while, which I don't think Moobot does. No. Yeah, so I might I might I don't know. I like Nightbot because he looks cool when he enters the channel and there's that funny emoticon <laughs> thing magic. But but yeah, um, I might have to go back to Moobot. Good old uh, Moobot. Yeah, we'll have to see, but everybody's spamming raffle at the second, it's really not gonna do anything. There's no raffle as far as I'm yeah. aware going on. You, so that's you don't win the glasses by yeah, quite a Yeah, raffle. you're wasting your time there at the second. So um yeah, it's all good but on that note, we've got 15,555 people in the chat right now, which is, is pretty damn crazy. Number. That I'm is crazy. That. I've, I've been taking screenshots as the numbers have been going up so far, just to see what our max kind of viewership is. So the fact that we've got that many people in here is say, absolutely the crazy. The second I take so, a screenshot, yeah. it changes to 15,451. Oh, well, I've got it, so it's okay. Okay, fair enough. 
But guys, if you are wondering what's going on and why there's just nothing going on on the screen, it's because there are issues with the server. But we are back. There we go. We've seen the full spray down coming in, and we look like we're good to go now. So we will have no more issues. The server is back up, and we're ready to go. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the game. 11.9 is your static, not quite out of this game yet. And Dignitas, and as Kai Knight's rightly mentioned out many times today, they are a CT favored team. So this could go either way, and I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the last few rounds here on Dust2. Yeah, and they are yeah. all uh, stampeding towards long where JW is lurking. They have finally bought up with Team Dignitas and they have <laughs> heavily uh, bombarded JW with a few nades and a few AK bullets to leave him on only 20 points of health. Indeed. Please, 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 mods, can you actually just, I'm getting annoyed, stop putting it in subscriber only mode. Can I? I'm genuinely thinking that we just delete all of the mods and just start again with this rate because they're just being dicks. So, anyway, into the next round we go. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's I, I, to annoy that me. was a pun. With the amount of penises in chats, so you're calling the mods dicks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. that's so why the dicks arrived so because there were some Nazi mods going down in the chat. Anyway, let's focus on the game. Let's focus on that. I'm not going to look at the chat again. Uh, we'll <laughs> sort that out later on. We can have a record of what's going on there but here we go we're into the next round 11 9 is your score and the man advantage is in favor of Fnatic even more so now but they've got to be really careful here because uh, both JW and Olaf White are actually not down to 20 HP and 23 HP respectively flush down to 44 it doesn't look like it's going to matter though they still picked up some big kills and that's what's so you know crucial um, about you know these professional players how they're able to do that it doesn't matter what kind of HP level they're on as long as they get in a good spot you know can kind of get those head glitches and things going and just only peek a tiny bit they can still pick up some huge kills and they're going to be able to do that once again so Fnatic down on to double figures 11-10 is going to be the score and it looks like there was a couple of disconnects there, but players should be back in and ready to go. And uh, Dignitas are actually going to be forced down onto an eco here. So Fnatic, the comeback could be real here, Kai Knight. They've already taken three rounds on the trot, and they should be able to take the fourth here. Yeah, well, yeah. there's only going to be one way to find out. Uh, going to have to wait and see all of Team Dignitas outside this A bomb site uh, as they slowly push in together with uh, those Glocks and CZ75s. Auto director useless as usual. Olaf with the double, falling back, going back towards them. Four versus two, and Fetish gets one. So uh, it should really be a fanatic round, particularly when you consider the firepower they had in hand. And uh, there you go. Uh, but I think Dignitas will be happy with getting two kills nonetheless. Yeah, they will. They will, but still not ultimately enough uh, as it stands. And that's going to even the scores up. So 11-11 here, guys. Very, very good stuff indeed from what we're seeing. And as I said earlier on, for all of you who have placed high bets on either of these teams, convinced that they're going to win it, I would still be biting my nails because it could go either way. And I'm looking forward to seeing who takes this one. But uh, I called my predictions earlier on that it could be 16-13 in favour of Dignitas. I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. And especially if JW keeps performing like that with his AWP, we know exactly what he can do with that big green gun. And they've gone for the double AWP setup here, Fnatic. So if they can keep pulling off big kills like that, they're going to shut Dignitas down here in pretty quick fashion. Yeah, and I want to apologise if anyone heard that sneeze on stream. I tried to move my headset as fast as possible, but uh, I'm sorry. Device evens it up at four versus four, or Fia versus Fia, uh, as they say in German. Not quite sure how to say it in uh, how to say four in Danish or Swedish. I mean, you know, I know it in Norwegian, Norwegian and yeah, I, I mean, think it's Swedish all the same thing Norway. up there. Same. -ish. I think it's Fira, which Fira. is like, which is, and I think Swedish and Norwegian are like really, really close. I know that Norwegians can understand the Swedish, but the Swedish can't understand the Norwegian. So, four in in Norwegian is Fira. So it's probably Fira. around about that kind of same level. Nice. So Fira mm. versus Fira. Um, <laughs> like someone was saying in chat, Dupree. Having a good time with this odd looking dildo. Pronax has gone unnoticed, pushed long. And that's one of the things you uh, gamble when you don't leave anyone outside along. But Dignitas are going to dedicate, I think, in towards this B bomb site. Flusher has gone unnoticed. He will drop AZ with the headshot. Got Dupree very, very close by. And by the looks of things, the DDoS is real yet again. Uh, are you lagging? Yeah, I've just got yeah. the lag now. A couple of shots going down, but unfortunately it's going to muck up again. It looks like it could be back though, actually, because well, there's loads of uh, lag on the server, but uh, um, I think it's still live. So we do apologize about any lag. It's definitely not our end because yeah. uh, you know we're both getting the same things at the same time, so it's definitely going to be the server. Um, but Fnatic taking the lead again for the first time in quite a while. And thinking about that, how many rounds is that they've had in a row now? That's five rounds they've had in a row here, Fnatic. After losing... Uh, you know, a, a couple of crucial rounds earlier on, they managed to bring it back, and this lag is just absolutely crazy. 
Yeah, it's not really uh, castable, is it? No, it's definitely not. I'm going to try and disconnect and come back in again and see if that fixes it because right, it's. Well, let me know. I'll, I'll try doing that as well. I, <sighs> I think it's a DDoS of some sort. It does look like a DDoS. We're really sorry, guys. Um, Somebody likes to ruin the fun. It's always just one absolute asshole, to put it frank. He just loves to ruin all of the fun for all 15,000 of us who are enjoying this game and, and, and trying to watch it. But uh, we'll try and get back into the server. I did disconnect and try and connect, and now it's just on a loading screen. So uh, hopefully it will get us back in there as soon as possible. Yeah, someone's asking if it means the players are also uh, lagging on the on the playing server. I think they might be. Um... I'm not 100% uh, sure, but I think they might be, but the reason they looked like they were playing normally was because of the delay, I think. Yeah, I think we're good to go now, though. Like, I've got oh, no lag yep. at the second, okay, so... yeah, I... they're moving, they're moving. Yeah, and there we go. As soon as I call it, this is the thing. I said 16.13 Dignitas. I thought they were going to take it, and then suddenly... Uh, well, now it's lagging again as soon as we're back in, but suddenly Fnatic had just come out of nowhere and really started to perform, and Dignitas are actually down on to another eco, which should mean that the score will be 14.11. Um, so, once again, we do apologise about this lag, guys. It's definitely not our end there's just something going on uh, over on the ESEA servers uh, which is a huge shame but I, I don't really know what we can do about it in a second to be quite honest but in my opinion the right decision from Team Dignitas is coming in Fetish is going to hold the rotator um, uh, but well look at who it, who it is it looks like Flush is about to do something absolutely phenomenal but unfortunately yeah this is this is far too laggy and guys I guess we'll you know we'll stay here till the end of the game and keep our fingers crossed that it sorts itself out Team Dignitas now they're finally gonna buy up and Team Dignitas need to win this buy round there's, there's no question about it no they're gonna put themselves in a world of trouble if they don't take it and it's really gonna show the fact that they are a CT uh, you know favored team if they've managed to kind of choke as many not choke I don't think that's the right word but allow Fnatic to come back into this game in the fashion that they have so far so I've actually just disconnected once again and I'm gonna try and connect back in just to see if yeah. that works once again uh, so uh, again we do apologize about this guys it, it's annoying when there's fifty and a half thousand people in the chat see, that we have these issues but see, the thing what can is, we do pressing tab it looks like the players um the players' uh, I, uh, pings are fine, which tells me that ESEA, ESEA's Go TV relays are on a separate are on a separate server, which means that someone is most likely DDoSing just the Go TV, because of course the Go TV IP for ESEA or the Go TV IPs for ESEA are always made public on HL TV. So um, uh, I'd like to think that whoever's DDoSing isn't doing it to try and stop us, but it does look like it's smoother than usual. Fetish making his way into the B-bomb site. Crims manages to drop him, but Fnatic do have this one-man lead, and the bomb will go down on the B-bomb site. And uh, I'm not in the server. I can't get in at the second, server. so you're going to be... Ah, actually, looks like I'm going to be back in, but I'm loading in the second. Uh, uh, so, yeah, you keep going. I'll keep going, okay. Olaf, he's just going to stay in CT spawn and save that AWB. And I'm happy that Team Dignitas managed to win that round. I'll tell you why I'm happy, because it means we're going to have a few more rounds in this game. Uh, it's gone smooth again, so I don't know if ESEA have sorted something out. Uh, kudos to uh, anyone who uh, is responsible for sorting it out, or maybe he's just a DDoSer getting DDoS himself or something, I don't know. But the bomb will go off. Fnatic will... Uh, they should be able to still... Yeah, they, Fnatic, they have plenty of money because of the amount of consecutive rounds they won, which you mentioned earlier on, Chewy. JW and Flusher with over $14,000 each. I just um, realised something. I'm sorry to cut you off, but sure. it's quite important because I didn't quite realise how incredibly Olaf Meister was playing. He's one of those players that can do this, I've found, in the short time that I've been casting him. Like, he, yeah, he'll be relatively... Yeah. yeah, he'll be like relatively quiet and you won't really see him picking up like some crazy, you know, like three-man spray downs and stuff like that. But then you look at the scoreboard and he's 32, 2 and 14 and you're like, okay, now I realise why Fnatic are 14, 12 up here and had six rounds in a row. Or was it seven? I think it was, yeah, it was seven rounds in a row they had, actually. So, uh, yeah, that, that's what it is. It's Olaf Meister just going absolutely crazy. But, yeah, and you see the thing about Fnatic's play style. I mean, I'm not going to bother play-by-play -play in this because, you know, it's not doable. But the thing about Fnatic's play style under Pronax is that they're very loose. Um, they don't go into a round... Even as CT side, knowing 100, 100% how they're going to set up, they're very fluid. They're always constantly changing it. And Olaf Meister, I think, got most of his frags as a terrorist. And one of the main problems Fnatic had prior to bringing on Olaf Meister and Crims was actually fragging 
and open oh, and getting those entry frags or the first bloods. Yeah. They were relying far too heavily on JW and his AWP and bringing the firepower of both Olaf and Crims into the team. They've taken a lot of the weight off JW's shoulders and Olaf's score at 32-14 is really emphasizing how much weight has been taken off JW's shoulders. It is indeed, and of course that's only going to play better and better for Fnatic as time goes on. Pronax picks up two big frags there, and Olaf Meister does get AZ. Betis responds on to Pronax, but Olaf Meister with two, and Flush is going to finish Zipnix off here, so 15-12 it is. And that is now going to move Fnatic on to match point here. And once again, for all of you 16,127 lovely people in the chat, we do appreciate you all being here. We apologize for the lag. It is ESEA, and it's not us. We think that the GoTV relay could be getting DDoS, so nothing we can do about that we're just going to try and bring you the game in as best uh, format as possible and I just was, cast over what we I can. I was wondering why people kept kept spamming remove Google and then it finally hit me as to why people yeah, we know why we Google. Were, we won't mention that because we could be here ranting all day about why we want to remove Google, but we won't. <laughs> we'll concentrate on what we can do without any copyright issues, casting the lovely games that we like to do. So here we go into round number 28, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 28 and Fnatic here on match point. Yep, fetish. Again, why am I play by? Why are we play by playing this? It's not really doable with this lag. I mean, it's difficult. It's certainly a challenge, but that's what us casters love. We love a you good challenge. We love a good challenge. Now, okay. I'm going to mention this. I know this is completely away from the point, but I see AZ's got like the name of his AK there, as CSGoShop.com. I think it's a new website. I'm going to check it out. It was supposed to go live, I think, yesterday, and it never did. They had trouble with automated bots or something like that. But apparently, it's like a website where you can like sell things and buy rare knives and stuff like that. And it looks really interesting. So I hope CSGO Shop is online now. If it is, I'm going to check it out after this game. But I've seen quite a few players talk about it and I'm looking forward to seeing what it is and what the potential it's got for it uh, so we'll, we'll have to see the advertisement on my channel okay well they, do, I, they don't know yeah, me yeah. and I don't know who's running yeah, it so, yeah, course, it's, course, so course, there course. we go but it doesn't matter because Fnatic have won and again apologies guys there's nothing we could do about that towards the end it really wasn't castable to be fully honest with you guys but if you put a bet on Fnatic 